Hey everyone and welcome back to some more esports talk. Yesterday we had Team Summertime host their 70k spin the wheel tournament where like we covered yesterday ended up having Crimsix and Skump on the same team alongside Clayster and Shotzi. That was proving to be something that we were expecting a little bit of drama from because of all the past with Crim6 and Scum, despite them having made up at this point. And so going into the tournament, there were some expectations for maybe something to go down. I will say most of that was pretty tame, but we'll get into a little bit of what Shotzi and Crim6 actually got into and the drama there. Wait, Porter, can you tell them that you banned your own name in my chat, please? Uh, <laughs> yo, 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 this yes, is true. <laughs> Yes, yeah, did. yeah, because the dirty little rats, bro. <laughs> quit, quit screaming at Scumpy, man. He, he's not doing anything. He's not doing anything wrong, bro. Just have fun, man. You guys fucking can't get top four, but just have fun, man. Fucking Dude, World War quiet. World War Two season, bro. Like, literally, we were just getting bodied, like event after event. And Wait, yeah, we don't. Yeah, just have, we were not getting just bodied. Just have fun, dude. But yeah, we, no, it was it was during Black Ops 4. We do have quite a few clips to go through. So that one that we're talking about is when Crim6 is addressing that he asked to have Crim banned from Scum's chat, just that name, so people couldn't be saying Crim6, Crim6, Crim6 all the time and talking about him and in his own words saying, oh, stop yelling at Scum, just have fun, which seems to be one of the biggest issues that they had back in the day. Like you saw in those clips, if you watched the previous video, there was more of a serious tone coming from Crim6 and more of a... Uh, fun tone we'll say coming from scump during most of those scrims and so most people's complaints saying that c6 was taking things too serious and was just too serious of a player alongside scum and so it seems as if that was addressed yesterday now moving on because like i said scump and grim didn't really beef last night but what we got to see was some tension i'll say between crim6 and shotzi yo is ant like nervous or something you guys got him shook yeah he don't fuck me he don't fuck me <laughs> He, se he seemed like nervous when the when the teams got picked, bro. I don't know what's up with him, bro. Nah, they 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 rigged it for sure. 100. That's why we were last because it had a zero percent probability of landing on us, dude. So like they knew they had to put us last because <laughs> it would never land on us, dude. You think they could actually rig that? Like they can have zero percent? For sure. They kept they kept hiding the wheel and I, shit too, bro. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. They were changing probabilities. <laughs> yes, dude. Oh, Davis, he he'll do that too. Like I. Oh, no like, shame. They, they, we, no we shame. Put them last. We put them last. It's like, yeah, because we had a 0% probability to get picked. <laughs> like, of course. Hey, it's good content. I'm, I'm down. Hey, it's a good team. I'm all right with it. we win? I'm all right with it. Bro, we win. It'll actually be crazy. So even beforehand, Shotzi being nervous to join the call, supposedly, I, of course, just speculation coming from Seth and Crim6 at that point. But we do get to see a little clip where he says, oh, well, he doesn't F with me anymore. He doesn't F with me. And so it starts to kind of turn the wheels a little bit and you start to wonder, oh, well, why is that? Well, Crim later goes on to explain that there were some weird vibes from when he got dropped. I got dropped in one word, I would say happily. I deadass texted Ant afterwards i was like bro the fact that you sounded happy when you gave me a fucking reason was like frankly just i mean i was sitting there like dude now i'm pissed the fuck off like now i'm fucking mad dude you know we had a call i'm over shitting my pants telling ray like yo i don't even want to be in the call just because i'm a pussy right <laughs> and he's like, no, you got to do this. And I'm like, okay. And Inner was supposed to join the call, but he was either playing a chow or he was just sleeping. I have no idea what he was doing, right? So then it's me, Ray, Stro, and Porter. That sounds like literally every awkward person's worst nightmare where you are stuck in a space that you feel like you're not supposed to be. This is not the room you're supposed to be in. This is not the call you're supposed to be in. And you're expected to say something anyways. And so he ended up in a situation where he was the one and the only one there addressing Crim6 and uh, addressing what he was dropping him for, more or less, which is so weird when you think about the dynamic of who Crim6 is and who Shotzi is. He even addresses that saying, hey, I'm just a 20 year old kid, right? I don't wanna be dropping a legend here. And it just feels so weird for me to be delivering some sort of news like this. I, it was like my time to talk, it was like, yeah, yeah, Ray, uh, Ray was like, yeah, and could go more in depth. And then uh, I started talking 
and I had no idea what the fuck I was saying, but just know I was literally voice cracking nervous. I mean, I wasn't voice cracking, but I was nervous. I mean, it's, just a, because, it's like, a tough bro, position to be that, put dude, in. Because listen, because I knew listen, Krim was off because his... listen, go ahead, go ahead. I, I'm dropping a fucking guy that has the most tournament wins. You, you know how fucking like, crazy that is? Yeah, that is like, crazy. That is crazy. In, like, yeah. bro, I'm doing that. I'm over like 20 years old and shit. Despite Crim6 having the title Optic Backstabbers for his stream, it seems as if they're ultimately were good vibes and this weird energy that was going around for the beef between crim six and shotzi if you can even call that beef ended up not being too serious they see it different ways they had different experiences there and so no surprise though at the end of the day sims team won the tournament which i like i said i don't think anyone was surprised by let me know what you guys think about all this and until next time i'll catch you later